Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam This is such a horrific day for me to watch a video coming from Gaza in Palestine That one particular video I saw a child was dead and his head was Stopped off because of airstrikes committed by the Israel soldiers. At first, after all of these days, I also commented on a few videos dealing with the Israel and Palestine conflict. It's actually not conflict, actually. It's a criminal offense toward the humanity where it's a collective criminality that existed that coming from the West being inserted into the land of the Middle East. I remember the first time I saw pictures brought by my friends about Palestine. Uh, he showed me the picture of the area of the Palestine that was reduced and he said the Muslims there lived in such horrific life and I thought at the time, well, it was just about land, okay? But then, time to time, I noticed something different. Then, after October 7th, I tried to re-read and relearn what I've known about Palestine and Israel. I concluded that the people who live there are actually Palestinians, they have the rights to live in Palestine. And what about Israel's? So many videos depicting how bad and weird the way Israel's treated the Palestinians, or let's say the neighbors. In 2024, seeing those things, making me question myself and those images what were they doing in the era where Android Google internet and widely accessible everywhere on earth with all of this massive nanotechnology we still see people who lived in such narrow mindset and watching this videos and so many other things coming from both sides. Today, I conclude that the naughty one is actually Israel. Or oh, perhaps Israel would be so, you know, saying defend itself. They just stop saying that. You don't defend yourself. If you defend yourself, you're not going to ask for help or allies from the United States or even from Australia from the UK or the involvement of countries from the West particularly the United States is complicit in this issue and conflict figures coming from Israel such as Netanyahu Ben Gavir and also the uh, commander-in-chief for the war that's what they said in the Ministry of Defense completely acted against what the Israel was created in the first place. It was wrong, completely wrong and morally corrupt. That is about Israel. Nothing else to say about it. It's it's done. All they say is just defending itself accusing the Palestinians kill Israels and with the beheaded babies and women were being raped. We followed that from overseas. We saw that. <coughs> thanks to Android, thanks to Internet, in, in the disguise of this blessing of the technology, I'm glad that people in Gaza could use the technology and the Internet to speak about the truth of what is going on in Gaza. 
I also listened to many videos and talks from people in Gaza. Not just I saw babies were bombed by the airstrike. Women lost their children. Children lost their parents. Women gave birth without any medical facilities. It's beyond imagination to live in such situation, especially when you understand that this is 2024. People no longer want to live like that. But it seems these Palestinians were treated in such a bad way by the Israels. After learning what happened in the back of Israel, I was given with lots of information from many sources that the complicity of the United States government, especially in the era of this uh, Joe Biden, is completely worst. The damage is worst and even beyond what we can think of. Now, imagine when you listen to the term the Nakba in 1948 after World War II, how many people died and the suffering of the children and women. Only people with moral compass would say, no, we don't want to have World War III. No, we don't need that. But for those who live with their selfish mindset and egoistic pride of their ethnicity or even race or calling themselves as the greatest of all humankind or even they say themselves as the God-chosen people and easily kill everyone just for the sake of homeland. See? I thought, where were they? They said, oh, this is the kingdom of Israel. Where were they? <coughs> okay, let's say kingdom of Israel was the tag at that time. And you, from Israel, you still live here on earth. You're not being killed. You're still alive. What does that mean? It means that the oppressor at that time still have a pity on you to, to let your great-grandparents still live and let their great-grandchildren to live to this day. Isn't that something you have to ponder about? All those ugly wars between uh, the Muslims and the Christian, the Crusade, the Knight Templar, or well, now we see the worst image coming from the Palestinians who are being bombed by people who claim themselves as the Jews and they said oh this is the Holocaust no it, it doesn't work that way as far as the International Criminal Court and International Court of Justice have stated about the results of the courts people in Rafa were receiving casualties lots more deathly than what we could notice during the World War II. So deathly. What are inside the minds of these Israel soldiers and Israel's leaders? What are inside the mind? They keep saying about the Jews. <coughs> well, frankly speaking, I've talked to a Jew and some Jews, when I studied in, in the United States, I went to the library, I wanted to know more about Judaism, paganism, satanic rituals, and Illuminati, and all those things. I found out that as a country, the United States is uh, not that religious this time. Even though the United States has, in God we trust, the Founding Fathers, yes, they had that kind of motto and phrase in God with Trust. But in some era of the country, I've learned some chanting patterns. Satanic rituals and pagans seems to be, you know, available in that country. And now it's uh, really obvious if people really uh, paying careful attention at that point. 
As a Muslim, I try to link what happened to uh, people in Palestine to what I believe in the Quran. I felt so sorry for people in Gaza. It's hard, you know, for me to cry. I don't know why I cannot cry. Um, but I did. I did. I also lost my first sleep siblings in 1995 due to the uh, dengue fever. I lost him, and I felt numbed in my in my sight in my emotion. But then I found in Al Quran, as the holy book from God from Allah, said that someone might not be with us on earth, but they might be living in other realms. And the Muslims believe that the realm is Barzakh, you know, the place where the spirits or the the souls of the dead are alive there. But that's not that's not the point that I want to talk about in this video. Most people in their videos say that what should we do to stop that? What should we do to stop that? I pray to God that they stop what they do toward the Palestinians. I pray to Allah that children, women, parents and all families in Gaza and Palestine could feel the joy of living. Not what we see today in these videos. No, it's not like that. If we cannot pray, I believe many good people out there are trying their best to do as best as they could to stop that. The madness of the Israel and the lunatic from the side of the United States sending billions of weapons and just for profit, benefit, money by sacrificing people living in the area of Gaza. Such mentality still exists in 2024. Not only we can pray, we also ponder one important message from God, okay? I know you feel so grief at this point seeing so many people died. <coughs> I also dislike what Israel did to other Palestinians. It's, it's, it's beyond immoral. It's beyond criminal. It's so senseless, unacceptable, unforgivable. But one thing, those situations in Palestine and Israel remind me that how weak we are as human beings. We don't have any power to do anything better other than the help from God. God is the last saviour. And for those of you who believe in God, you have to think it over. What kind of God do you believe? Why do you believe it? What are the actual reasons and the logic understanding that you might have from what you believe to say that God exists. In what way? I'm talking now to my Muslim brothers and sisters, whatever they are. First, that we we do not live forever on earth. We don't belong to this earth. This worldly life is a test. Not everyone is going to be rich. But not everyone is going to be poor. That's why we need to help each other. That's the, the demon or the devil dislike that kind of moral decision to help each other. So they create a situation where we kill one another on the basis of race, religious understanding, social status, knowledge. We were made to fight each other on the basis of gender, man and woman, and thinking that women want to overstep men, but in fact they could work together to make a good life. And so many other stuff that you can play in our society, not to mention the drug addict, fornication, drinking beers and then burglary, suicidal, or stealing, and all those crimes. We do believe those things are crimes, right? Now, let me bring you to what I read in my Al-Quran, my book, in order for us to still feel at peace. 
I believe after this there will be a miracle from God when all what we do praying we're praying to God and we also hope that the courts will listen by this right government in fact that government didn't listen and they even did worse than we could imagine this is what I've read from the Quran Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Uzina lillazina yuqataluna bi'annahum zulimu wa inna allaha ala nasrihim wa qadir Permission is given to those who fight because they were wronged Allah has power to grant them victory So the Palestinians were wronged by mostly the West So they keep saying Hamas, Hamas, Hamas But in fact what they do is they kill babies and children and women it's so contradictory from what they said to what they do and the next verse that I read from the Quran is الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ بِغَيْرِ حَقٍ إِلَّا أَنْ يَقُولُوا رَبُّنَا اللَّهِ وَلَوْ لَا دَفْعُ اللَّهِ النَّاسَ بَعْضَهُمْ بِبَعْضٍ لَا هُدِّيمَتْ سَوَامِعُ وَبِيَعُنْ وَسَلَوَاتُ وَمَسَا Jidu yuzkaru fi hasmullahi kathira Wa layan suranna allahu man yansuruhu Inna allaha wa qawiyyun aziz If you only listen to the previous verse It means that it is okay for you to go to war To defend yourself That was stolen by Israel as well But this one, when you were wronged It means fitna Something turned against you When you actually said something truth But then uh, some people turned saying uh, something wrong about you. So this is what it says. So who are they that need to fight for themselves? This is one. Those who have been unjustly driven from their homes just because they said, Our Lord is Allah. Had Allah not repelled some people by the means of others, the monasteries and churches, the synagogues and mosques in which the name of Allah is remembered would have been destroyed. But whoever helps Allah shall be helped by him. Allah is the strong, the Almighty. So this verse says a lot. Okay, so everyone, everywhere you are, I know it, it's, it's, a, it's a grief to see those videos, the babies, children, all that. And we, we want to help the Palestinians to go back to what they were before. But we also need to keep our belief that everything happened Qadarullah. So not Allah, because of Allah. I try to help by donating. And then if the money goes directly to the Palestinian, Alhamdulillah. But if this not, I don't know. Allah won't let me stop. So again, I'd like to explain about this one. This is said, those who have been unjustly driven from their home. See? This, this verse is clearly talking about Palestine and Palestinians. Unjustly driven from their homes. Because they said, our Lord is Allah. Isn't that what the Palestinians did? Our Lord is Allah. So, people in Palestine, even though they say they were Jews and Christian, but they also believe in Allah because the word Allah in Arabic means God. Okay. Had Allah not repelled some people by the means of others, um, the monasteries and churches, the synagogues and mosques in which the name of Allah is remembered would have been destroyed. So, this is clearly said. It it talks about the you know the monsterhood from coming from the these people call themselves the God chosen people, Israel. This is what it says. Had Allah not repelled some people by the means of others, means of others, the monasteries and churches, the synagogues, you know, synagogue belong to Jews, monasteries and churches belong to Christianities, and mosque belong to Muslim. Um, it in which in the name of Allah is remembered would have been destroyed. But this is what it says. Whoever helps Allah shall be helped by him. Allah is the strong, the Almighty. So anytime um, people in Palestine say something about God uh, helping and then we also want to help, this strong energy coming from outside Palestine wanted to help. And do you know what these Israelis do? They do the opposite. They destroy 
they kill, they proudly show to the whole world this is what we do. And I disagree to believe that they're God chosen people. Perhaps they were chosen for something bad, something ugly. Chosen for a go to hell, maybe. Inshallah. Now, after this verse, you know, sorry, um, this is Al Hajj uh, verse 39. So the one that I read before was verse. 38. Now this one is 39. Now the next verse, still in Al Hajj, verse uh, 41. This is what it says: in makkanahum fil ardi aqamu salata wa tawu zakata wa amaru bil ma'rufi wa nahaw anil munkar walillahi aqibatul umur. Those who, if we establish them in the land, will establish the prayers and Pay the obligatory charity, order with honor and forbid dishonor, and to Allah is the end of all affairs. Now, so this is the key to Allah is the end of all affairs. We we also need to think about the the downside of what happens in the conflict over there, the horizontal situation, the the cheat mentality coming from the West is because of solidarity among the Jews they say among the Jews but actually what they did is completely against who they are the Westerns are proud to say uh, democracy liberation freedom intellectual understanding mutual cooperation business cooperation all that but it's not what I noticed so far especially dealing with this particular particular a group of people who call themselves as Jews. It's a real misunderstanding at that point about the meaning God of chosen people. They misuse many terms. Right? Now, so this is what God chosen people are actually. So Allah said that if, if we, see, if we establish them in the land, will establish the prayers and pay the obligatory charity. So look at those leaders in your country, in your state, who establish the prayers. Or if, if your country is dominantly Christian, do they go to church and do prayers and recite the name of God or Allah? Especially if they're Muslims, do they go to mosque and prayers and do something good, remembering Allah? Order with honor and forbid dishonor. So that's what I said in this video, I forbid the dishonor of killing people, both sides, Palestinians or even Israel. I believe people in Israel do not want to be treated the same like what their government treated the Palestinians. At last, I would like to say I'm so sorry for what happened to people in Gaza, Palestine, If I want to cry, I will cry. But crying in the face of Israel? No. In fact, what Israel does toward the Palestinian Gaza make Islam and God are standing higher. We're humans. And if you are as human, you have that power you are in a good position, you are a leader in your group, in your community, you're a teacher, you're a professor, you're a lecturer, you're a researcher, you're an academician, historian, whatever position you have, if you use that as a way to help other fellow human beings, then you are a good person and that what makes you God chosen people. God makes no mistakes. Choose the best role in your life and the bad ones will always still be there until the end of this world. So everything goes back to you like our hands. We have right and left. You have your own brain. You have your own thought. You have your own emotion. You need to use that to decide which position, which side that you need to choose. This is the end of the time and we are approaching to that. You need to, to define yourself, who you are. Were you created on earth or did you create yourself? 
if you were created then one day you're not going to live mourning for the loss of the people in Gaza make you good human beings but that also be the time to remind yourself that at one point in life you will be dead as well I will be dead as well so I have to prepare what I can do with my life to help others in the best capacity I could do at last um, thank you for listening to my video this is such a very horrific and bad situation that my generation watched today and all the fault goes to those of you who still acted like war machine.